palahura na ang mga anak. Utang na loob naman. Ayoko na to leave unanswered questions. Ilang beses kaming sinubukang patayin. I'm willing to go to war. Hi everyone! Normally, I would not be doing this holding the yellow pads where I wrote what I wanted to say. But I was cautioned na I should stick to what I wrote. Para na lang, hindi ko wala lang confusion, kagad. walang misinterpretation. Ako yung nag-insist that this had to be done now and this was the compromise. You will so, allow me now to start. I hope you will bear with me. Because I now know by speaking or posting when I am angry or hurting, posibleng sirain ko pa ang sarili ko. Mas mahirap kasi ang damage control. From before my birthday until a few days ago, they hurt name it. A messed up seven year romantic entanglement again started making me question my worth. But ang pinakamahirap was to control to myself. My, family, my siblings, kayang-kaya nila yun. But as I have admitted to all of you, ako yung ibang Aquino. Plus, I'm a solo parent. Nanay ako na binabalahura na ang mga anak. Sinubukan ko to shut up para wag na tong humaba. But shutting up caused me even more stress. Stress happens to be the number one enemy sa of the malicious, ang pag-target sa panganay at sa bunso ko. Inisip siguro kung mag-imbento tungkol sa panganay at tawaging bakla yung bunso, titiklop na yung nanay. Now, I am ready to name Nayla. He is Kuya not Josh there happens. para mag-establish ako ng presence. Now, I am ready to name names. Kuya Josh happens to be very happy in Tarlac. He is not there para mag-establish ako ng presence in the same province where my father and my brother started their public service journeys. Pero kahit walang pangalan, walang picture, Walang detalye. Merong nabuntis si Kuya Josh. Now, my bunso, si Bib. Bullying a 13-year-old dahil sa tingin ninyo or tingin nila, nabakla siya. Utang na loob naman. This is 20. Bib is tall. He is good-looking. He's well-educated. He is intelligent. First honor siya, di ba? He is articulate, respectful. Hindi siya palamura. And he happens to be very mature. 13 years old lang siya. Nakakahiyamang aminin. Pero siya ang gumagawa para ng lahat ng paraan. Ko. At para mapaligaya niya ako. Since I said, I will be naming names. We recently discussed Herbert. Para no questions, Herbert Bautista. Because the two of us tried to reconnect. But, permission. as a mom, I told my son, I needed nung pinag-uusapan namin, sinabi niya, I can see, mama, how you still look at him. You do not look at others the way you look at him. If he is your happiness, then he has my vote. Next year, unfortunately, vote, that word vote, it can be misinterpreted again. HB's plans, his political plans, whatever plans he has, they are his own. Para further na maklarify, Binenta na po namin ang bahay December 2020. We are just waiting to sign. Binenta na po namin ang bahay namin in Green Meadows in Quezon City this December 2020. 
we are just waiting to sign the lease contract. Lease, meaning magre-rent kami ng condo in a different city. I didn't want to Shifting be impulsive to to with a major purchase. I wanted the time to decide kung bibili ba ng condo, magtatayo ba kami ng property in the south because we do have one in the south, or will we create a small compound in Tarlac? For my health, we were actually ready. Nag-down payment na ng malaki. But yung last blood panel ko, it was not good. Hindi ako pinayaga ng mga doktor ko to go far away. I needed to stay near them. Ayoko na to leave unanswered questions. Right, but unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. You kept asking me what happened to Bingkai. So this is the story. February 2020, bago mag-lockdown, nagtampo ako kay Bingkai. We needed a four-week break. Bumalik ka na. When Pero nag-specify ako ng bagong ground rules. It was her choice to turn me down. And she did. She walked away. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko. Kahit very generous ako, gusto rin naman niyang mag-asawa, mag a responsibility of taking care of me. But there's absolutely no bad blood. After my time thinking, luminaw, na pinpoint kasi what was my vulnerability. It's simple. It's how much I love my sons. Alam kasi ng lahat, ako lang ang meron sila. From reading, I, I am exhausted. From reading, dun sa mga comments na Ignore them or choose your battles. Please, I ask you, I know you mean well, but please do not decide for me because they are not your sons. Ako ang nanay nila. So I made my choice. To defend them for my I sons. Know I'm willing to go to war. Because, oh, ito na yung hinihintay nyo na because. Because, hindi nila fault that they cannot count on their fathers. Hindi nila choice na ang nanay nila ang apelido Aquino. Hindi nila kasalanan that the lies about my family will be written. Nagbanggit lang ako the yellow brick road in an art card default mode na yung line of attack the std lumabas na akala ko pa naman nag-iisip bala yan may i na laban sa akin pwede yung paputukin kung tinago ko you can use it against me if it was a skeleton, I hid in my closet. But that happened 18 years ago. I did that live on TV Patrol in my mother's house. That is an iconic interview. Alam kung iconic dahil Nung panahon na yon, halos buong Pilipinas tumigil at nakinig at nanood sa akin. About so how can you use something me? that I myself... Yun ang advantage kasi of having lived an open book life. Wala kang kinakatakutan na pwede pang maibulgar. Kasi... Lahat ng sinasabi nilang kahinaan mo o mga kasalanan mo on TV Patrol in my mother's house. That is an iconic interview. 
alam kong iconic dahil nung panahon na yon halos buong Pilipinas tumigil at nakinig at nanood sa akin. So how can you use something that I myself revealed about myself against okay. having lived an open book life? Wala kang kinakatakutan na pwede pang maibulgar kasi lahat ng sinasabi nilang kahinaan mo o mga kasalanan mo, alam na ng lahat. The lesson here is, when you tell the truth, regardless of how painful it at least you are assured, hindi ka na matatakot sa bukas. You will never fear tomorrow because you faced up to it when it was happening. Regardless that my life's work, my chance to come back on free TV, that was taken away from me. Because I was told, mahirap nang ma-offend ang palasyo. I took that. Kasi, political reality yan. Hindi yan ginawa ng kapatid ko. Hindi yan ginawa ng nanay But ko. I know how this game is played. Nangingibabaw pa rin sa akin that my father, he gave his life for this country. Sinabi niya at napanindigan niya. I was a year old when he was jailed. Panahon to ng martial law. I was 12 when he was assassinated in the airport that is now and you know what with everything that has happened i still continue to pray for the current administration for this government and you know what I still continue with everything to pray that happened for the current administration, for this government that is ruling us right now. Dahil kung pumalpak sila, tayong lahat, tayong mga Pilipino, tayo ang babagsak. Millions of oras Pilipinos ito are now jobless. Millions are hungry. Marami na. Millions have lost hope. Marami na ang namatay. Too many are sick. And too many can still die. The problem is, nung sinikap kong tumulong, na misinterpret yon. Hindi po ako Wala kagaya ng ako. iba, agenda. Hindi po ako. Tumatanaw lang ako ng utang na loob. Because my mom taught me, there would be no Chris Aquino if Filipinos did not support or believe in you. Iba. Mas Kasi lalo ako, hindi po nagbibigay ako. galing sa bulsa ko. Nagbabayad po ako ng tamang buwis wala po akong history na nagnakaw ako sa taong bayan. Nabasa ko po ito in a DDS law. Alam ko raw yung first law of power. That's true. She even quoted me. Kung Duterte ang tatakbo, ibibigay ko na po sa kanila yon kasi wala kaming malalim na ugat, sugat, at hindi sila ang kaaway namin. This was referring to the 2013 elections. Hindi gets ng ilan. Minsan kasi kung hindi mo i-declare. Pag minahalang mom ko, bali-balik ta rin man, hindi pwedeng mabaling ties that bind. In the current Duterte cabinet, Secretary of Finance Sonny Dominguez and Secretary of Foreign Affairs Teddy Boy Luxin continue to have my unwavering respect. Secretary of Finance Sonny Dominguez and Secretary of Foreign Affairs Teddy Tito Sonny keeps open communication lines with my sisters and me. 
Teddy Boy and I are textmates. Obvious ba? Pag may bumanat sa akin, Teddy Boy goes ballistic para matint ng politika. Tatapusin ko to by saying, who actually benefits by erasing the legacy of my parents? Sino ang nagtanggal ng freedom of speech sa Pilipinas? Nagpapatay kay Ninoy Aquino. Sino ang... Let's go back. President Duterte started his political rise during my mom's administration. Legacy po ng nanay ko ang peaceful transition of power. Ang dad and mom this yellow for our country. And ito ang kulay nila. It is for that reason that I will not allow anybody to taint the symbol of their sacrifice. I have no party affiliation. Pero alam ko kung sino dahil kulang para sa kanila na pinapatay na nila ang dad ko. That is not President Duterte. Because alam ko, never ko siyang binanatan. So para po sa mga DDS, wala tayong reason. I am who I am as a mother. Because apart from our three years in Boston, I only had one parent. She was my role model. Hindi ko po maalala kung seven, eight, or nine times yung coup attempts. Pinatay po ang dad ko. Ilang beses kaming sinubukang patayin. Pero ito po ang diferensya. Hindi ang nanay ko. Never coming umalis. I will ne Hindi naduwag ang nanay ko. I will never forget this. Sumabog yung kotse sa labas ng bedroom ko. Ang Tumakbo lakas na po ng bakasok sa kwarto ko sa na walang bulletproof glass ang mom ko at si Noy. Kinaladkad nila ako from my bed pababa. Bago inisip ng nanay ko ang sarili niya, there are so many other instances. Even when she was already told she had just a few months to live, she fought. Sinabi niya, my children are not prepared. I will not allow Hindi ko hahayaan for them to go through that all over again. Kung meron man kaming tinago sa inyo, tinago namin para lang mabigyan niya kami. Nung nakita niya what we needed most, what her children needed, we needed time. We needed more time with her. Kaya ngayon, sa pinakaunang nagmahal sa akin, yung nag-alaga, yung nagsakripisyo, yung nagpatawad, at yung nagparamdam sa akin kung ano talaga ang unconditional love. Action speaks so much you can louder say than mere so words. I will emphasize I'm not here to attack. But you leave me no choice but to defend. Alam ko naman eh, hindi nyo ko tatantanan. Kaya habang may freedom of speech pa, you can and you will attack me. But, karapatan ko, ipaglaban ang dignidad at pagkatao nung mga mahalaga sa akin. Atin yan, ha? Who are the people who matter to me? Very the obvious. of my parents. My two sons. My siblings. And because I cannot predict tomorrow. Yung taong mamahalin ako ng tapat and publicly, mutually, aaminin namin sa inyo na may relasyon kami. 
Kasi nakita ko yun sa mom ko. When you truly love, hindi ka lang magtitiis. Para sa mahal mo, wala ka talagang titira ni sarili mo. These two platforms, Facebook and Instagram, they are my only means to directly communicate with all of you. You know, totoo ako. Kilala nyo ako, I am real. I also know, I do not have a troll farm. Lahat naman tayo. Gusto natin ng mapayapa na buhay. Lahat tayo, lalo na ngayon na pandemic, nag-iingat sa kalusugan natin. Pero, pagod na akong magpaapa. Pinagod nyo na ako. I won't be Chris if I do not end it this way. Congratulations, Taylor Swift, because I am a Swiftie. She won Album of the Year. So this Swiftie will quote from one of the songs from Folklore to end her statement. No one likes a mad woman. You made her like that. And you find something to wrap your noose around. And there's nothing like a mad woman. I'm taking my time. Taking my time. Because you took everything from me. Over people like me. Tama na. Sobra na. Lala.